Dude's eating an apple. Apple, not beer. Oh, speaking of beer. Right now I have this Mike's uh, Hard Lemonade. Uh, it is a seasonal pick apple pear. You guys gotta let me know, is this a girl drink right here? It's all I have, all right? So don't judge me. I wish I had some Budweiser. I wish I had some Budweiser, some Budweiser or something. I don't know. All right, so in the last video I made, I, uh, I was drinking a Mike's Hard Lemonade and I made a reference to maybe, uh, you know, people were gonna, you know, shame me because I wasn't drinking a real man's beer. So I mentioned Budweiser and uh, I gotta make things right. So I did what any good man would do. And I went to the store and I bought enough Coors Light to last me a couple weeks. And then I went and got two Coors Light tattoos. Uh, so first off, uh, I'm not even really a beer drinker. And the second thing is, is YouTube is kind of like when you're making a YouTube video, especially freestyling it like I do, it's kind of like being on Family Feud. Name a reason a man thinks his wife looks as young as she did the day he married her. Alcohol. <laughs> you know, in your head, in a split second, you need to come up with a, uh, a name. And if somebody said beer, you'd say uh, Budweiser. Uh, so, you know, it just came to my, uh, my head when, when I needed to name a beer instead of a Mike's Hard Lemonade. So, uh, but anyways, I don't think I've ever had a Budweiser in my life. I'm not even really a, a, a beer guy. Get back to my roots here. We're talking Red Bull. Let's go ahead and see if I can open this one finger style. Bam! Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Toyota stuff it is. Let's go. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm at our local Toyota dealership, Toyota Santa Cruz, and uh, I had to walk around and see what we got. Had to see what we had for sale out here today, and uh, man, it is bright. It is a beautiful day. It's actually pretty early for me. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning, but we got a used capstone uh, right here, and when I saw was 90, now 88, 995, I thought, you know what? Holy shit, this is too good to be true. I only have to pay 88,000. Uh, so this is 88 before taxes, fees, and all that neat stuff. I guarantee this will be 100,000 out the door. Odometer 673, 673 miles. Uh, of course, it's four-wheel drive, 10-speed auto. Now, it is a capstone, so I gotta say, this is the, uh, this is the bad boy right here, all right? This is, this is the, as loaded as it gets. I'm not sure. How much these things are brand new but I don't think that uh, I don't know I'm not sure now this thing is beautiful it's interesting the skid plate the skid plate under there is like a carpeted unit but uh, yeah so it's it's pretty much brand new I gotta say look at that look at that white ivory I don't know what they're calling it with black this this thing is gorgeous you know I'm not sure this would necessarily be a good platform to start for a for like an off-road style this is more of like a fancy executive type thing going on here but eighty-eight thousand dollars used i'm not sure how i feel about that i don't know is that factory right there the chrome inserts right there i don't know that is one gorgeous truck and as much as I like that, uh, this thing right here caught my attention also. Look at this. Look at this truck right here. Four-wheel drive, TRD Sport, which is an absolute lie. This is definitely not a TRD Sport. It is 5.7. No TRD Sport in history has had all the black girl. 38, 995. Are they smoking crap? 38. Yeah, it's an SR. An SR, 44,000 miles. We got vinyl seats inside. TRD badges. Oh, man, you guys. How could they do that? TRD 4x4 stickers, TRD stickers, blacked out badges, which I don't even really like. You got the vinyl seats. You got the eBay mirrors. 
38,995. You have got to be kidding me. Let's do a peek underneath and see. All right. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty decent looking under there. I will say that. I was going to say, you know what? If this thing's seen some mileage, then that is. No, it does have exhaust on it. I believe that's that BAMF exhaust. It does have the TRD sway. It has uh, some airbags going on. Um, it is by no means brand new. You know what? I think it would look better with the, uh, the bumpers and grill color matched. Uh, but it is, it is pretty nice. Uh, 44 for this. That's all right. 1794 for 59. You know what? I might almost recommend this thing. What's the mileage on here? 18,000. This is a 21, 57, uh, 1894 for 59. You know what? I, oh, and this paint is gorgeous. I don't know if it's if it's coming through on camera. That paint is beautiful right there. I might actually Oh boy. I might actually go for this one if it didn't have that that paint defect right there. Uh, over that uh capstone up front actually 60 70 80s so that's going to cost you 30,000 more. This one has 18,000 miles. That is a beautiful truck. Another 1794 interesting well we're starting to see more of these used 22s was 80 now 78 platinum what's the mileage i wonder what's the story 672 isn't that the exact same mileage on that other one that's weird i wonder if like the the bosses around here using them for demos or something well anyways i don't really like making a full trip over to the dealership to see what kind of deals they got because uh you know these are deals they're like what can we do to get this truck into your driveway today. They always have good lines like that, but uh, 2019 TRD off-road, 39,000 miles, 41. You know, my favorite thing to do is, is just to climb underneath and see. They're all pretty clean. Some look, you know, some people literally just go to the grocery store and back. Other people think they're, these things are Rubicon ready, so they take them out and kind of beat on them a little bit. This is that same paint that was on the, uh, that 1794 over there, it is beautiful. Uh, midnight black metallic, 50,000 miles on a 22. Holy smokes, 2022 with 50,000 miles. Now, I'm very weary uh, when somebody puts 50,000 miles on a vehicle that quick if they're keeping up with oil changes. I mean, I highly doubt they stop. You know, I know these things call for 10,000 uh, mile intervals, uh, but I like to keep it around five, uh, and I would highly recommend that also. And there's no way this person every 5,000 miles uh, religiously did oil changes on this thing. People who put that kind of miles on it, these are busy people who are doing a lot, very active, and, uh, and there's no way, there's just no way they're keeping up on oil changes. So 50, that's, that's crazy. I'll, I'll usually buy a used vehicle with maybe, maybe 12 to 15,000 at most a year uh, for mileage, but anything over that, the person's a lunatic and they're just, they're just rallying the thing. Uh, I don't. I don't truly mean that. People out there who are putting tons of miles in your vehicle. I know there's exceptions to everything, but uh, to buy a 22, put 50,000 miles on it, and somehow it ends up back at the dealership. Oh, I don't know. Now look at if it's if you're getting a smoking deal or if it's your last resort, then go ahead and go for it. But if you have other options, then uh, I'm going to go ahead and say pass. I think that uh, reasonable mileage uh, says a lot. Anyways. I think that's going to do it. Uh, that truck back there, that four-wheel drive, um, I cannot believe they're asking 38000 for an SR with black bumpers. We're going back, okay? It's definitely a cool truck, okay? It's definitely a cool truck, and I think a good price for this thing would be like 30 maybe. But vinyl seats, you got the column shifter. Vinyl seats, and we're not even in cloth territory here. Not even in cloth. No, no way. No way. And then if you could see this truck right here, it's really hard to see, but man, this thing, wow. Wow, this thing has some serious, serious uh, 
what do they call that? Arizona pinstriping? This thing, God, I, it is probably not coming through on the camera, but this thing, this thing's had some had some adventures. Uh, 22,000 miles on a 21 for 42. You know, at these prices, just buy new. Just buy new. It's not even worth saving a couple thousand bucks. Don't even do it. All right. I'm disgusted. I'm out of here. So on the way out of the dealership, uh, I spot this. This is what I'm talking about. Take me back to 1996. Look at this. Look at this. Damn drilled and slotted rotors, Cooper Discovers, painted red calipers, Toy Tech coilovers. I don't think those are Toy Techs. Those are just some Bill Steens, possibly. Oh man, this is what I'm talking about. I could go look at Capstones, New Tundras, all that stuff all day long, but it's back to my roots right here. That's beautiful, perfect height. I like the look of those brakes up front, poking through the wheels. That's what I'm talking about. That is not what I'm talking about right there. Nope. I like to do the uh, paper towel around the uh, gas pump mod right here. Uh, does anybody out there just raw dog the gas pump and just touch that thing? I think they must be one of the most disgusting things out there. I'm always doing this. Sometimes I see people looking at me weird, but I can't touch these things. Nasty. Oh yeah. I just threw a quick 40 in, seven gallons. Why is there a nasty Q-tip on the ground? How did that get there? Let's get away from that Q-tip. Let's see what 40 bucks gets us here. Yeah, that's about right. A little under half a tank. And we weren't even that empty at all. Oh well. Some V8 life right there. You know, and while I'm out running around, I think it's time for an oil change. It's only been 4,000 miles, but it's been over a year, so. Let's get, uh, let's get some oil on a filter. All right, so check it out. I told you guys it's not very often that I'm up this early. It really isn't. I don't know what, it, what my deal is. I like sleeping in, but since I'm up, had to go get some oil, swung by the dealership. I'm out handling business. I really want McDonald's since uh, since I think they stopped serving it at like 10.30. I just want a sausage McMuffin, throw a hash brown on there, but I feel kind of guilty about eating it. So I figured that what I should do is go next door to Whole Foods, get some fruit. Look at that, we got some pineapple, some honeydew, some cantaloupe, and then we'll, uh, and then we'll get some McDonald's and we will offset poisonness of McDonald's with some good fruit. You see that? And that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this video, but uh, at the end of the day, I really don't care what anybody does, as long as it doesn't affect me or my family in a negative way. You go do your thing, I'll do mine. But uh, what do you guys think of that capstone for uh, $88,000 used? So the million dollar question is, would you go get a Tundra right now, or would you wait for the new Tacoma? That's the question of the day. Leave a comment down below. And uh, if you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. And uh, everybody take care and we'll see you soon. All right, peace. I gotta go check out this truck real quick over here. Being in Santa Cruz, never too far from a killer Toyota. And I gotta say, ah, that color. Look at that. We got some fuels, 275s. You know, when those new 24s come out, this thing is gonna be old fashioned overnight. But for right now, it's a beautiful Tacoma. I think it looks really good with the, uh, the black inserts back there. Normally I'm not really into that or blacking out badges. You know, I don't like that kind of stuff, but I'm gonna give it a nine and a half out of 10.